on some beach while I'm out your train. Feel so rare when I live like this. Fly up in nine wings on my wrist, it means time fly. Hey guys, so before we get into my fall makeup tutorial, I just wanted to make a quick video. I literally just came home from work right now and I decided to make a video and attach it to the fall makeup video that I already made. And I want to announce the winner to the Carly Bible palette um, that I announced about a month ago. And I know in that video I said I was going to wait until I had around a thousand subscribers. And right now I have like 995 or something subscribers. So I'm not going to wait until I have like those exact 5 more subscribers because I've had this palette, palette for um, like a month already. And it's just been here collecting dust and I just want the winner to um, get the palette already. So, um, like I said, I just came home from work right now. And I went on the app and it selected a winner right now. And the winner is... Bieber K71. So congratulations, Bieber K71. Thank you so much for uh, for entering the giveaway, and to everyone else who entered the giveaway, thank you guys so much for um, for entering. If I had a thousand palettes to give to you guys, I definitely would do that, but unfortunately I can't. So to Bieber K71, um, you'll be getting the Carly Bible palette and I'm also going to be including these two nail stickers by Essie that I bought today um, on my lunch break from work I went to the store and I saw these and I thought these were so cute um, you just get a close-up so you can see they're kind of like rib rib um, and then this one is just like a nude ish color and I think these are so convenient for times when you want to have your nails done but you don't have time to like let your nails dry and stuff like that I have so many of these and these are like a lifesaver so I'm actually going to go back and get a few for myself. So I hope you like these and the colors because I definitely do. So what you're going to do is you're going to message me on my YouTube channel. If you don't know how to message me on my YouTube channel then you can just leave a comment down below and say hey you know I'm the giveaway winner blah 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 and then you know we'll take it from there I'm gonna need your exact address so that I can send this to you you don't have to leave that in the comment section because I know that's private information so um just sorry just message me and if you can't message me then just leave a comment um and then we'll be able to connect from there thank you guys for entering my giveaway and congratulations again to Beaver K71 Love you guys, and now back to my fall makeup tutorial. Hey guys, so we're going to be starting off with a clean face. I'm going to be taking this stickiness off of the tape and putting it on the corners of my eyes. To prime my lids, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and I'm going to be putting that all over my lids and my lower lash line as well. Next, I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Shadow Pencil in Milk, and I'm going to be applying that on my lid with a small concealer brush from e.l.f. And this is just going to make the shadows pop a little more. I'm going to use Soft Brown by MAC and a Coastal Suns fluffy brush, and I'm going to be putting that shade into my crease as a transition color but then I noticed that this is kind of light for a transition color so I'm going to go into my Carly Bible palette and I'm going to take this brown shade right here and I'm just going to be putting that in my crease and darken up the transition color in that same palette I'm going to be using that mauve shade and I'm going to be putting that all over my lids and I will be applying that with an e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. So now I'm going to go into the, the Mana palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use the color Sangria. And I'm going to be putting that in my crease. And this is more of like, it's a redder color. And I wanted a more plummy color. So I'm going to go back into the Carly Bible palette. Just to darken that red a little more and make it look kind of like a plumier shade so I'm going to be using this dark shade and I'm going to be putting it right on top of Sangria
If you want to make this look more dramatic, you can definitely put some black on the corners of your eyes, but I wanted a more subtle look, so I'm using chocolate from the same the Mana palette. I'm going to be putting that in the V, the outer Vs of my eyes, and this is how it looks so far. So I'm going to be using the shade Fresh, and I'm going to be highlighting my brown bone with that, and to do that, I'm using a flat shader brush by Equal Tools, and I'm gonna be blending it out with a fluffy brush by Equal Tools. To line my eyes, I'm gonna be using the MAC 210 brush and this liquid liner by NYC. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And then I'm also going to go um, and use the Unique 3D Fiber mascara. And I'm just going to be putting that on the corners of my lashes just to make my lashes look a little bit more dramatic. To prime my face, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Primer. And then to fill in some of the pores, I'm going to be using the Garnier 5 Second Blur, which this is so good if you want to kind of smoothen your skin and diminish the appearance of pores. For concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Concealer in Medium Beige, and I'm going to be blending that out with the Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush. And I'm going to be putting MAC Prep and Prime on top of that as well in the shade Bright Forecast just to highlight it a little bit more. And I'm also going to be putting that on the bridge of my nose to highlight my nose. We found love in a hopeless place. We found love in a hopeless place. We found love. To set that, I'm going to be using my Sasha Buttercup setting powder and an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. This is my favorite setting powder. It's like 10 times better than the Ben Nye, I think. Then to contour, I'm going to be using my Nika K HD Concealer in Follow, and I'm going to be putting that on my cheekbones and, you know, my nose, my cupid's bow, and I'm going to be blending that out with the Real Techniques Buffing Brush. Then I'm also going to be using a small kabuki brush just to wipe out um, the powder that I had on my face. I was just letting it cook for a little bit or bake. Now I'm going to be using the MAC 219 brush and those two shades and I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line just to pull the whole eye look together. And I'm going to go back with mascara and line my lower my waterline with black mascara. This is with black eyeliner. This is from Victoria's Secrets. And then I'm going to go into the Anastasia contour kit and use those two shades um, to put on top of where I contoured with the Real Techniques contour brush. And then for my nose, I was just going to use that middle shade because it's a cooler color and I think it just complements my nose a little better. And I'm using an e.l.f. defining brush to do that. We found love in a hopeless place. I'm creating more problems than you can solve. And I'm all these then I'm going to be using this shade from the contour kit to highlight my face. Um, I wanted a more matte look for this um, tutorial. I didn't want to use shimmer, so that's why I was using this light color. And for blush, I'm going to be using the Large ang Angled Contour Brush by Sigma in this shade right here, just to add a little more color to my face. Then I'm going to set my face with the e.l.f. Set and Mist Spray, and then that should pull the whole look together. For my lips, I'm going to start with a matte lipstick, so I'm going to be exfoliating my lips with this exfoliator by e.l.f. And I'm going to be using the shade Beeper by ColourPop. This is, I think, a new color, and I'm obsessed with this color. It looks perfect with the eye look that I did in this video. And then this is just how the lips look. And this is just how the entire face looks. 
I'm also going to be showing you another lip that you can use if you want a darker, you know, lip for the fall. I'm going to be using this lip liner by Jordana in the shade Cabernet. And then I'm also going to be filling in my lips with this shade just to add to the longevity. For lipstick, I'm going to be using a lipstick by Wet n Wild in the color 916D Raven Raisin. But then I noticed that it's more of like a Barney purple and I wanted a darker look. So I'm going to go and use the NYC lipstick in 320 Mahogany. I'm going to be putting that on the outer corners of my lips. And this can get a little... A little bit messy if you're messy like me so you can wipe off the corners with the napkin but I'm gonna be using concealer this is the makeup forever concealer in the shade 355 and I'm just gonna be cleaning up my lips with that and then I'm gonna be blending out that concealer with my Sigma 3d HD brush and then this is the final look I'm not a fan of dark lips on me but you can just let me know you can put a gloss on top by LA Girl. This is in Daring. And yeah, that's the final look. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.